1980 to 1983. Upon graduation, he attended Thomas County Community College, followed by Berry College located in Rome, Georgia. There he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration and a commission as a second lieutenant in the United States Army as a field artilleryman in 1986. Lieutenant Colonel Retired Kentrell spent over 23 years in the Army when he retired in June 2015. He served two tours in Iraq and Operation Iraqi Freedom and was stationed overseas in Korea and Saudi Arabia. Prior to retiring, he served as the Department Chair of Military Science at Augusta University Reserve Officer Training Corps program located in Augusta, Georgia. In 2013, his unit earned distinction as the number one program out of 273 host universities across the United States. After transitioning from being a field artilleryman, he became an expert in electronic warfare. He spent a year at the Pentagon in 2008 and today is a full-time contractor at Fort Gordon, Georgia. His awards and decorations include the Bronze Star Medal with Oak Leaf Cluster, the Meritorious Service Medal with five Oak Leaf Clusters, the Army Commendation Medal with five Oak Leaf Clusters, the Army Achievement Medal with two Oak Leaf Clusters, the Joint Unit Meritorious Medal, the Superior Unit Medal, and the Airborne and Air Assault Badge. Lieutenant Colonel Retired Cantrell has three sons, Blake, Brent, and Nicholas. And I will say again, he's the son of Mr. and Mrs. James T. Cantrell of Thomasville and the brother of our very own Mrs. Karen Cantrell Jones. Please join me in welcoming him. It is a true honor uh, to be back uh, where the roots were established here in Thomasville, Georgia, and especially Thomas County Central. Uh, every time I come back here, it, it is just awe-inspiring uh, because this is roots, this is home. Uh, Dr. Cornegate, uh, Principal Jones, uh, Papa D, uh, all the students and everyone, uh, thank you for allowing me to spend a few minutes uh, to reflect on what at least I believe a veteran is does or, or should be. Uh, I started out, like, like I said here, uh, not really knowing what my plan is, which I, I assume a lot of students here are in the same boat, and uh, followed a dream to go to Berry College, and saw these guys doing some war games or doing some hunting or doing something, and uh, I asked them, hey, what you guys doing? And they said, we're out, uh, you know, doing some ROTC stuff. I couldn't even spell ROTC, and they said, you ought to come out there. And so I went out there, we did some maneuvers, some uh, tactical training, and uh, I came back in, and, and the head person of their program looked at me, and he said, so what you going to do this summer? And I said, well, I don't have any money, so I'll probably go back home and work at Winn-Dixie and uh, make some money, and then come back and do it all over again. He said, how would you like to do the same stuff, get paid doing it, and earn a scholarship on top of it? And I said, well, do tell. And so I did. I went to a, uh, a summer training program that got me caught up on military traditions and, uh, and customs and how the military works. Uh, I got paid doing it. And uh, I actually made money in college as opposed to uh, you know, not. And then I got a scholarship on top of it. And the rest, as they say, is history. And a lot of people look at me and they said, why? Why would you do that? Well, initially, I didn't understand all this you know, country, honor, duty, respect. I wanted a job after I got out of college, and I wanted to have some money. And that's what brought me to it until I got to my units. And then you see that there are soldiers who are high school age, and they've left home. And the job was to take care of them, to train them, and get them ready for war. And so where all of this began, if you'll know, is World War II. D-Day, 18,000 soldiers died on that one day alone. And they did it so that you could have the way of life that you live today. So that you can get in your car, travel down, not Remington. Uh, which one is it? Jackson. Down to Chandler's. Jackson. Go to the theater shopping center, Burger King, and back. Something like that. Ours was down Chandler's, back down, movie theater, and it was just the loop. They did that so that you had the opportunity to do that. 
And where did I learn it from? That respect was my tours of duty. When you go to Korea and you step off the plane, you say, wow. And then you appreciate home. You appreciate Thomasville, Georgia. You appreciate the ones who were before you, who literally died so that you could have the way of life. And that's what it means uh, being a veteran to me. <clears throat> so it, it chokes me up at times because it's, it's incredible. Uh, war is a nasty, nasty thing. It's not a Xbox game. It's not PlayStation 4. It's real. And uh, a case in point, and sometimes we mix up Memorial Day and Veterans Day. You know, Memorial Day, we give thanks for those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Veterans Day, we are celebrating those who serve. And why is the impact? All right, so where it hits home is you can be like I was in Iraq, sitting in a dining facility in the morning time, your best friend to your right of you, and you're joking and talking about the rest of the day, they go out on a mission, you're still there, and at lunchtime you come back and someone says they die. It hits you. And why did they die? They died to defend one thing only, and that's the Constitution of the United States. My challenge to you is to read it, to know it, because that's the bedrock of our country. And that's why soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, raise their right hand volunteer to defend our way of life so that you can do what you want to do. So that tonight, when the jackets hit the field, they win. Because a soldier, sailor, airman, marine paid the ultimate sacrifice so that you could do it. And that's the meaning of being a veteran. So with that, I want to thank everyone for allowing me to come and talk. I appreciate it. And uh, go jackets tonight.